Well, when was the last time you went to a drive-in? Unfortunately, these gems of the big screen now are rapidly disappearing all around the country, and that's why a, a local photographer is capturing their images. Zach Melham joins us this morning to talk about the upcoming photo exhibit he has and the 75th birthday of the drive-in. So welcome. Thanks for being oh, here. Thank you, Mitch. And you've Jim. been on this mission to capture drive-in theaters on film. Of all the things that you photograph, why these? Well, you know, I, I realize that there are vanishing icons of the American West. We travel extensively. We go from Montana to New Mexico, photographing basically Western Americana. And uh, my first drive in I shot was in Green River, Utah. We were passing through there, caught my eye, and about two years later, we drove back through Green River, and it was gone. Gone. Yeah. yeah. A shopping mall. No, actually, it was a fruit stand. <laughs> <laughs> a parking lot. Well, that's not too yeah, bad. So they, yeah. So, uh, so I told my, my wife, I says, you know, these things are going. We, so we better start capturing them, and that's what we did. So for 25 years, I stayed that I stayed focused, and uh, we've captured them, like I said, in Montana to New Mexico. Yep. And I've got a huge, huge portfolio. That really is a mission, too. And you also have some memorabilia. Right there, you have the old yes. um, audio box. We all remember yeah, the old screen. You used yeah, to put on, remember that, how that would work? You'd put, put yeah. your window down a little bit, and you'd right. hang it on the and side. The, yeah. And you had to remember not to drive off with it. Too. And where'd you get this, this old sign? Well, that uh, actually, I've been collecting uh, drive-in memorabilia for uh, as long as I've been taking uh, drive-in photos. And uh, the stuff just kind of falls into my lap. And uh, this is a great one featuring wild angels and then drag racing on uh, Sunday afternoon, weather permitting. <laughs> drag, drag racing. From the fast men drive-in. Yeah. Where was that? Yeah. Uh, that's in uh, North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. how many photos do you suppose you've taken of drive-ins over well, the Well, I've got over 45 drive-in images wow. and uh i mean drive-in theaters, theaters yeah. drive-in theaters and each at each drive-in i'll shoot at least a, a good roll of film i shoot uh, 35 millimeter film and uh i, I will I'll, I'll spend at least a good hour and while my wife patiently sits in the car and <laughs> and uh just waits for me to uh to capture the true essence of what it is did you ever take your wife to a drive-in Actually, yes, we did. You have the Starlight, <laughs> as you were talking about. Was it the about. Starlight? The Starlight yeah, that was my hometown. Bloomington, driving. Bloomington, Indiana. Oh, wow. Bloomington, Indiana. There are a lot of Starlights out there. Uh, absolutely. It's probably the largest name of all drive-ins. If these things are disappearing so quickly, how were you able to amass such a collection of photographs? Well, what we did in our travels, what we... When we would travel through towns, our eyes are trained, and we see the white screen tower, and we say, <laughs> oh, bingo, that's it. And uh, we make a beeline, we line, we for it, and then, uh, and then if the drive-in is still there, we will shoot whatever is there, whether it's a screen, whether it's a ticket booth. A lot of times, it's just a marquee. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, and what is it about the drive-in? I mean, as a young guy, we had a ton of fun piling everybody in into the trunk, literally, right, and right. driving in by ourselves right. and not paying for admission. But there's something else about the drive-in that, that we hold well, there was so just, sacred. There was just something about the baby boomer generation, because... After World War II is when they really took off. There was almost 5,000 nationwide. And uh, it was a great way for the family to go out together. And in the privacy of their own car, uh, mom didn't have to cook because of the concession stand. The hot dogs, and the popcorn. Hot dogs, the, the popcorn, the, the, you know, the, the, everything that had to do with, with eating and enjoying the, a, a media experience. It was all right there. Yeah, and you may have had a, a playground for the oh, kids the to go to Absolutely. right in front of the big screen. Yep, if you got there early enough, you got to go to the playground. <laughs> then it was pajama time, and before you knew it, you're falling asleep in the back seat. Wow, we're getting closer to, because it's a great, great uh, poster you got here. How did the driving get started, and, and, and what well, made it explode yeah, so? so? It's, oh, it's just a great story. Uh, this gentleman in 1933, Richard, Richard Howling Shed, in his backyard, he stretched a white screen uh, uh, canvas, if you will, between two trees. He put a projector on the top of the hood of his car and started showing movies to his family. And he realized, hey, maybe this is something. So he put speakers behind the screen and started inviting his neighbors over and charging a quarter to watch the stars under the stars. Hmm. Wow. And, uh, and then it just took off like a rocket. Yeah. Will they ever come back, do you think? Well, you know, actually they are. They're making a re resurgence here in um, the Midwest, not, not here, but in the Midwest. There's, uh, there's several in, uh, in Illinois where, uh, where owners are taking over and uh, refurbishing these old drive-ins and making them look like they used to look. That's awesome. Well, thanks for sharing with us. I know you're also working on a book about drive-ins, but yes, I'm, I am. We're, we're out of time. We'll, we'll, we'll have to talk about this some okay. other time. If you'd like to see Zach's drive-in photo exhibit, it's the, he is the featured artist of the month at the Photographer's Gallery. That's in Cherry Creek uh, all of September. There's an open reception where you can meet Zach on September 5th. That goes from 5 until 9 p.m. For more information, you can always go to our website. Uh, the
denverchannel.com. Just click on that big red TV button and you can check out that exhibit. Thanks uh, for being here. I'm oh, lucky I'm still so not much. locked in the trunk of a car from all the times we snuck into a driveway. <laughs> we survived. We've all done it. Everybody's exactly. been there. Still the